All right, your next comic um, is a local New Yorker who plays a lot of the clubs around here. Um, has contributed to Crack Magazine. And uh, she's a very funny lady. Give it up for Sarah Maywalt. She asked me how I wanted to be brought up, and I said that I wanted her to tell you that I was a horrible person. <laughs> that is important. That is important to my set. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Good. I'm Sarah and I, I am one of the trans people on the show. Um, as a trans woman, I'm one of the few few women in in the world who can say with authority, it has been hot as balls out there, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, uh, it's really it's really hard to it's really hard to scratch your balls in public now, I just gotta say. But um so so sometimes sometimes you know, sometimes when I tell a, a, a man that I'm trans, they get a little bit nervous. I think it might be because maybe they're a little attracted to me before they found out. And I just want to tell them, like, listen, listen, if you're attracted to me, you're not gay. Because I'm a woman. Unless you wanted to suck my dick. <laughs> then you're a little gay. <laughs> Boyfriend, um, and he's wonderful. But the stupidest question I get asked about him is, "Does he know?" <laughs> no. <laughs> you see, all I want in life is to just find some unsuspecting straight man, like lure him into my bedroom with my feminine charms, jump out of the closet with my dick waving in the air, and yell, "Surprise, faggot!" <laughs> it was the first line on my OKCupid profile, okay? Number one, okay? You don't bury the lead, okay? <laughs> 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 now, my boyfriend, he lives out on Long Island, and that, that kind of sucks because I don't get to see him enough, you know? But I thought to myself, you know, really, that's a first world dating problem. But then I thought to myself, I wonder what a third world dating problem would be like. I think it would be something like this. The rebels have forced me to marry one of their soldiers. He rapes me every night. But that's okay, because I don't feel a thing. Because my genitals have been mutilated. Also, I have AIDS. Oh. Third world dating problems, people! <laughs> Okay, that's my point. That's my point. Tinder better than Boko Haram. That's, that's it. I do that joke for me, not for you, okay? I love watching the stunned faces as I tell it. Uh, that's what I do comedy for for me. Fuck all of you. Uh, I love you. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting live trans comedy in New York City. Yeah. Gratuitous applause line. Now, that's, that's sort of. That's sort of, it, just, it just cleanses the palate to the other horrible things I'm about to say. <laughs> so, like, as a trans woman, I, everybody, everybody has to be about Caitlyn Jenner. But see, I have a degree in astrophysics. No one's asking me about Pluto, okay? That <laughs> pisses me off, okay? It's the only thing that five years was good for. <laughs> for the record, Pluto is a planet, okay? As far as and can suck my flaccid atrophy dick. <laughs> That's my catchphrase. <laughs> um, so Caitlyn Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner. I'm of two minds about Caitlyn Jenner. The first thing is like, you know, I transitioned when I was 32 and and I don't I can't tell you how much regret I had, you know, transitioning that late. I don't even know how it would feel to transition at 65. I mean, on the other hand, she's a fucking Kardashian, for Christ's sakes! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's like the most famous transsexual woman in the world is a Kardashian! Okay, I've spent my entire last decade trying to keep away from those people, and that's the only thing people think of when they see me. 
now. <laughs> <laughs> you can say what you want to about Buffalo Bill, but that was a woman with a purpose. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the purpose was to make a bodysuit out of other women's skin, but the point is, <laughs> she was in it for more than fame, okay? Um, uh, recently, I had, a, I had a comedian friend of mine pass away, and um, you know, we never heard, and her name was Amy Dalton, she was a great comedian. Um, we never heard how she died, but, um, you know, you, when a comedian dies, you don't ask, you know, how it happened. You ask how she did it. <laughs> it's funny, <pretty> sad. <laughs> Way too many comedians take their own life. And I just want to tell everybody here, if you, if, I, if, you, if you leave with anything today, it's like, it doesn't matter how bad your life is, okay? It doesn't matter how bad it hurts. Suicide is never the answer. The answer is murder-suicide. <laughs> ever had a liver disease, you'd call it hepatitis A. <laughs> <laughs>